Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here checking the energy, um, seeing what's going on, whatever spirit wants you to know. Ooh, there's a player about to take some kind of action. Um, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This is somebody very manipulative, okay? Honestly, I feel like spirit is going to do something bad to this person um i'm looking at this flash of light here and it looks like almost like a spear coming at this person okay that's what i'm being led to look at they're about to take a huge risk here this is um they're going up against the divine okay Ooh, what was that i didn't see it so just take what resonates, leave the rest. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you guys. Thank you. Yeah, this person's being haunted. They're about to be haunted here. I feel like your spirit guides are going to come in and whoop this person's butt because they're messing with a, a light worker. They're, you're a divine being. You're a muse. It says muse here on the bottom of the card. Um, Zeus had nine daughters, okay? Those daughters are called muses, all right? And each one of those daughters were spread out all around the world, um, in different places to inspire people in different things. And so you're an inspiration to other people. You are a muse, okay? You're a divine being, all right? And this person is messing with the wrong one. I am telling you, spirit is coming for this person. Um, your ancestors or spirit guides are coming in to attack this person. Um and they here's the thing this is this masculine is someone who is very good looking very charming they're a player they're really good at what they do you know this person has lived their life reeling people in with lies using them for moments of personal gratification and tossing them aside okay this person's very manipulative all right, and they're used to getting what they want. This is a karmic masculine who's, I'm telling you, um, spirit's about to haunt this person or they're already being haunted. There's a movie, I keep thinking it's like Final Destination, um, where, I don't know, there's like pictures or something of someone, um, and there's signs, you know, that um, in the photos that they're being shown what's about to happen to them. And this, this masculine, they're targeting you, okay? Right now you're free. You're free of karma. You've paid your karmic debt. You've probably paid some karma carrying the burdens in this situation, okay? Um, and I feel like you're a messenger. You're a light worker all the way, okay? This person... They've been warned, I feel, to stay away from you, you know, to not come back around and try to manipulate. This person, they're, they're planning to manipulate you all over again. And they are about to get attacked by your, by your spirit guides or ancestors. Okay? Something could have happened to this person in the fall. Or this is somebody that you could have met in the fall season. Or they're about to take a huge fall. Yeah, man. This is like a tower moment. This is a tower moment. They're about to take a huge fall. Um, or, I mean, this person could actually fall and hurt themselves. Or I, they're about to be taught a massive lesson for messing with the light worker. They're thinking they'll get away with it, too. Yeah, they better recognize recognition. They need to recognize and respect who you are. This person's going to be stuck. Okay, this is someone you need to release. This is, could be somebody with some um, legal issues as well. Or this is what they're going to have. Legal issues, they're going to be completely stuck in their life. Unable to move, unable to get any new opportunities. Um, down on their finances. This could also be something like a car accident coming in this person's life. 
definitely a karmic masculine, a, a player that just refuses to stop doing what they're doing to other people. And now this person wants to come back around to you and spirits not letting them. They need to respect. Um, they need to respect who you are. And this person doesn't want to respect anyone. This is a player. Use your intuition on this person. The, you've got a gut feeling of who I'm talking about. You could be dealing with possibly um, a Leo Aries Sagittarius. Maybe Virgo. You could be a, a Libra Gemini Aquarius, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person could also be a Libra. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, um, yeah, you could be a Cancer. Use your intuition. I feel like, too, you're listening to tarot card readings out here. They may be giving you the same kind of warning. Other readers could be picking up on the same energy. It happens all the time out here, okay? Um, but, yeah, this person from your past, they've played you before. They left you feeling used, okay? This is somebody who's caused a lot of anxiety in your life, a lot of depression, okay? Um, maybe stress, panic attacks. You've had sleepless nights over this person. You could be feeling like they're about to approach you again, and that could be giving you anxiety because you're, um, you're psychic here. You've got some special abilities. You can pick up on it with your spidey senses. It says six cents here. Free will. You don't look. You don't have to take this person back. Okay? You don't have to deal with them at all, is what Spirit's saying. You don't have to deal with this person at all. If they're making you feel like this, and they make it like they put a sick feeling in your gut, and they leave you feeling stressed out and sad and depressed and, you know, all in your head, you don't have to deal with them at all, collective. Okay? Yeah, this person, they're coming in to communicate, but that doesn't mean that you have to. Okay, and you don't need to settle for anything less than what you deserve. So you're not going to want to get with this player. I feel like Spirit's warning you. This person's coming back saying they want your forgiveness. They may even do a little begging. They're definitely going to schmooze you. Okay, but this is somebody who's unawakened. Okay. They haven't learned their lessons. They don't want to change. They like their player lifestyle. And they think that they can get in your head and get you back, use you, and then they're going to leave you again. This is, that's what this person does. And you know your self-worth. I feel like this person, you're going to realize what they're trying to do here. You're going to use your intuition when this person approaches you something um, something's going to, like, it's going to be a red flag, okay? And I feel like this person, you're going to send them away, and they'll never be able to bother you again. They'll have no other ideas. Honestly, all they've ever done has been a player. All they've ever done is schmooze people. This person doesn't even know how to be honest, and they haven't done their work. They have not. This is somebody who doesn't want to change. Um, if you tell this person no, they may give you a guilt trip as well. They may be coming in with some kind of sob story, hoping that, um, you know, uh, they, they, I feel like this person's just going to try to make you feel sorry for them. Okay? Like they're going to come across as being some kind of victim, but they're not. That's just part of their plan. You're a high-value individual. Okay, you know your self-worth, right? You know you deserve better than this person. And I kind of get the sense that they have hurt you so bad and left such deep wounds that just the thought of them coming back around, um, it gives you anxiety. The thought of them hurting you the way they did before, it gives you a pit in your gut, okay? This is someone you, that, you need to listen to that. You need to listen to that. Those are signs of your intuition telling you to stay away from this person. 
you know, if they make you nervous, if they, um, if they say things that make you feel bad, you know, if your, your gut feeling is to stay away from them, then stay away from them. You know, just because they're coming back around, that doesn't mean, um, one, it doesn't mean that this is your person. This is a karmic masculine. This person is a karmic masculine. And number two, um, you don't have to take them back. Don't, do not be pressured. They're going to try to pressure you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is the pressure, right? They may be saying, no, this is the right time for us to get back together. You know, um, something like that. Or I wasn't, I didn't stay with you because it was just the wrong timing, you know, or they may even want you to wait. You know, I, I just feel like mm -mm. they may ask you out on a date, want to go on a date, and they're not going to want to accept you saying no. This There's something pushy about this person, see, because they're not used to being told no. They're not used to hearing no. I feel like you're going to choose yourself because you don't want to feel like this, okay? You're going to choose yourself. You're going to tell this person to go away, and they're not going to want to accept it. You're going to tell them it's over, and they're going to want to start possibly even some kind of argument. Or they're going to try that at that point, they're going to give you a guilt trip. Okay? They're going to say they want to court you. They want to date you. You know, let's, um, let's meet up somewhere. Okay, and you're not going to want any part of it, but they're not going to be able to accept that because this person, people don't tell them no. I feel like you haven't even met your true twin flame yet. Okay, you've got someone new coming for you, um, I, and you can kind of feel it too, can't you? Because this is on the 5D. You can feel that there's someone else for you, that you deserve better, and you're going to get better than what this person will ever give you. All right? They don't want to change. This is like a fallen one. You are going to have yourself a fresh start. You're going to refocus. You're going to move on and turn your back on this person. Okay? And then I feel like someone new comes in. Someone new comes in, okay, who's going to love you the right way and treat you the way you deserve to be treated. So, yeah, and I'm telling you, when this person does this and even attempts to play you, attempts to be um, kind of aggressive and pushy, if they, if they so much as try to do this to you, I'm telling you, spirit, spirit's going to do something. This person could end up possibly even getting in a car accident or having some major health issue happen, like, very quickly. You know? Yeah, I feel like you need to trust your intuition. Spirit's already shown you. I feel like Spirit's shown you a lot. I feel like Spirit has shown you, maybe even in dreams, um, this who this person is. And what they plan on doing. And I feel like Spirit's also shown you glimpses of the person that you're about to meet. Okay? Especially in your dreams. There's something about your intense dreams these days. Um, you may not remember the person's face, but you're being shown somebody is being sent to you. Okay? Yeah, I feel like this is a, it's a player. They're not going to be able to handle being told no. This person's going to be numbing. They, they may already have some kind of toxic addiction. Uh, they could be a heavy drinker. They could do some kind of substance. Um, I'm getting the sense that they're addicted to other things too. Um, lust energy, okay? They're addicted to cheating. They're addicted to playing. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this is somebody that you're walking away from and they're not, 
they're not going to leave without kind of a fight. I'm not saying they're going to physically fight with you. I'm not seeing that at all. This person's not, they're not, um, they're a lover, not a fighter, okay? They're not going to be pushing you around or anything like that, not getting physical at all. They're just going to be um, energetically fighting for this, right? They're going to, and they're going to try to use everything. They're going to try to use passion, flirting. They're going to try to use lies, okay? Empty promises, guilt trips. They're going to try to make you feel sorry for themselves. They're going to try to make you feel like this, anxiety and depression if you don't accept them back. Like they're pulling out all the stops, you know, but I feel like when you send this person away and you finally say, no, it's over, because that's what you're going to do here. Um, this person goes and drinks and goes off the deep end. I feel like it makes them feel like a fool. Okay, they've never been told no before. So, yeah, beware of this person and just know this is somebody that you, they've hurt you so bad you have like PTSD from them. Like you don't want to see this person, you know, that makes you feel terrible. It dredges up all the memories of what they did to you in the past. Okay, um, and if you feel this way, this is not somebody that you want to be around. So, yeah, and Spirit's letting you know, once they try this, man, that's it. They've been warned already, you know, um, not to come near the anointed ones, right? Yeah, look, Spirit's saying, come with us, right? Come with us. We're taking you directly to your land of milk and honey. And that's what you're doing. You're listening because you do. You go with the divine. You do what the divine says. You are, um, even though this person has hurt you so deeply that you, ha you could have PTSD, man, you still take a stand. You don't budge. You don't cave in, okay? You don't give in. You still take a stand. That's true strength. This is true strength and courage, okay? that you can you face that fear and um and you uh you boldly go up against this person and they just they don't know what to do after that you just keep saying no you're not doing it so you listen to the divine you listen to spirit spirit's trying to bring you into your 10 of cups okay your happiness that's ultimate wish fulfillment and you leave this person behind yeah and there's that clock again something about time okay i feel like this person's out of time the offer has expired all right they they don't um they don't want to they don't want to admit it they're going to be in denial okay this is you walking away from them is going to cause them a lot of chaos and conflict and i'm telling you if they once they do this and you walk away from them for good, this person, your ancestors, your spirit guides, the divine, they already know what they're going to do to this person. It's not going to be good. I feel like there's some kind of physical, either a physical health problem or some kind of physical injury that this person goes through. Okay? It's just given me that vibe. All right, so yeah, they're going to get major karma for this. They're messing with the wrong one. Okay, anyway, that's what I have for this reading. Oh, yeah, um, I'm going to include right after this, I'm going to put on a, a little video at the end of this reading that will tell you all about the giveaway I'm having you guys. <laughs> I jumped right into your reading. Um, I'm having this awesome giveaway. I want you all to take part in it. I'm going to go over all of the seven gifts that I have that I'm giving away and um, and tell you the easy way to enter to win one. So um, the giveaway, I'm going to announce the lucky winners on May 11th. Okay, so please stick around. 
um, and join in on that, all right? And I do hope this helps. I do hope this helps. Um, and as I'm telling you, this is good. This talk is going to be so difficult for you because you're going to be feeling this anxiety and that PTSD, that panic um, off of what this person did to you during this talk. But man, you face it. You face it and you ha you conquer this thing. OK, you conquer this whole situation. You don't give in. And I'm so proud of this collective, man. That takes true courage, okay? That's a brave person there. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope this helps and resonates. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stick around for the giveaway details. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out. Okay, everyone, so um, these are all of the awesome prizes that I have for this thank you giveaway, okay? Um, we've got the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck, a really popular deck for the giveaways. You guys, it's fun. Um, and we've got the Lightseer's tarot deck. This, this is a very popular deck in, in tarot land out here on YouTube. Um, really great for intuitive readers as well. And we've got, of course, another chance to win the cat tarot. You guys, I include this in on pretty much all the, re all of the, um, giveaways. Okay. And then we've got, um, we've got a singing bowl that's um, just like mine. I think it's a little bit smaller than mine, but it comes with its own little satin pillow and a wand. All right, we've got the singing bowl. We've got the um, pendulum set, which I think is really nice. Honestly, um, these are really nice pendulums, you guys. One is um, uh, quartz crystal. It's got a really nice weight to it, and it's pretty big for a pendulum. And this one is copper. And this one opens up. You can open it up. You can put little things in it, like maybe um, some um, holy water. You could put little pictures in it, maybe. You could put um, little crystal chips in it, okay? So this is a really awesome pendulum. Very, it's weighted so nice, and it comes with this um, really cool, like, board, okay? Like an answer board. All right, so we've got the pendulum set, and then we've got this home cleansing set, okay? It's also called a smudge kit. It comes with a feather, uh, a sage stick, a chakra bracelet, um, it comes with its own little wooden stand for this beautiful abalone shell. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Um, so that is the smudge kit or home cleansing kit, however you want to put it. All right. And as a bonus prize, you guys, and I had to, I couldn't pass this up. I just couldn't. It's way too cute and adorable. This is the bonus lucky elephant, okay? Um, it's hand carved out of amethyst, and it, it needs a good home. So who wants the bonus lucky elephant? Please, please. Um, I, I hope he goes to a, a good home. Anyway, um, to enter to win any of this awesome, uh, any of these awesome items, all you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel and type in the name of the item that you want to win in the comment section below. That's all you got to do. And then we're, I'm going to announce the lucky winners on May 11th, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, good luck. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. Um, enter to win one of these great prizes. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.